here at Buck Speedway with the first track tour video. I got Nasty Nate behind the camera. We're going to do our best to tell you everything about Buck Speedway. If you want to come here, check it out and see a race. Hi, I'm Billy Dietrich, sprint car mechanic and driver. I've been around racing my whole life and it's pretty much all I know. We created this channel to share the good and the bad and everything in between. Our crew may not be the most experienced or professional, but we get it done and we have a good time doing it. We'll show you what it's really like racing weekly at some of the best tracks in Central Pennsylvania. I'm also going to share some sprint car tutorials, mechanics, parts, and whatever else I feel like. So like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And enjoy the ride. Yeah, boy! Newberrytown, Pennsylvania. It's a, I would call it a sh small half. I wouldn't quite call it a four tenths. Um, a lot of people might say this isn't a half compared to our other half miles, but they classify this as a small half or a four tenths. A red clay oval. Paper clip shape like most of the tracks in Pennsylvania. You can cut long straightaways, tight turns. One and two's bank pretty good. Three and four not banked as well. Uh, typically, the track gets dry slick, you know, with the clay, it's just the way it's been for years and years and years, it gets nice and slick, they got smooth, uh, nice lighting here. Uh, typically they run a Saturday night program, which consists of a, they call it a winged super sportsman, looks like a sprint car, but it's got a carburetor on it, and no front wing. They run late models and street stocks. 410 programs typically here between 10 and 12 times a year. This year, for the first time ever, they have a World of Outlaws show, I believe, in the month of July, which is pretty cool. And I know they're excited about that. Lots of improvements here. They also have a Speed Week show, which is the first Sunday of Speed Week. So there's probably the two marquee 410 races of the year, and along with all their other records, you know, special shows for the 410. All right, the first thing we'll start with here is the admission. So we're here at the ticket booth. Um, you just basically walk up, grab your ticket, and over here we have a sign that shows how much everything is. So it looks like adults are 25, seniors are 20, young adults 13 to 17 are 15, and children 12 and under are free. All right, here we go, walking in. This is the, the grandstand area. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> here is the, uh, the flag stand here right when you walk in and you got the grandstands here. They're on the front stretch. Got some red clay here at BAP, something kind of unique. Yeah. And when you go home, you'll you'll find it everywhere. It's in your, wet now, but it won't be later. <laughs> in your chair, in your hat, <laughs> everywhere. Girlfriend's panties. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying that, Julie. <laughs> so if you're coming here to sit, I always sit in turn four. That's where if you're doing a little cerveza pounding, it's probably where you want to sit. But you're going to get real dirty. But then you're not really in the race if you don't get dirty, right? Just saying. What do you think, Julie? What do you think, Jilly? It was fun when we sat down there last time. What happened last time we sat down there? You signed some people. What? <laughs> Where'd you sign them, Jilly? Where'd you sign them, Nate? In the bosom of her body. <laughs> I'd say if you, I'd say if you don't want to get dirty, probably up here towards the top in this middle section. Would be where you who's wanna. That, who's that up there waving? Oh, who's oh, this guy? What's up, buddy? How are you? Good. Our OG oh. Double D. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so one thing you're always going to think about when you're coming to the track is what are the bathrooms like? Maybe not for guys, but definitely for girls. So Nasty and I for the bathrooms, and we're going to give you a rating. To explain the rating system, zero is I'd rather go in the woods, and five is Port Royal because they kind of set the standard for nice bathrooms at a racetrack. All right, so I'm going to let Nate take it away with the men's review. <laughs> I'd probably give these bathrooms maybe like a two and a half to three. Like they got real toilets, which is cool, and they're divided off with doors so you don't have to like play patty cake while somebody else is like popping one down. But the, the pissers are a little rough, man. If you're into meat gazing, this is the place for you because you're going to be standing right next to your homie just spraying away. Another nice thing they have though is they have to schedule the races. Uh, attention, attention, attention. Above the urinals. Anybody, Anybody see what's coming up? Registered so I give it two and a half to three. Okay, so my rating for the women's room, I'd say it's about a three and a half, four out of five, and here's the reasons. The bathrooms are clean. Like, they're not it's completely modern, but no racetrack is going to be. But when you open up the door, it doesn't stink. It's definitely been clean today. Um, there's running water in there. You can wash your hands. So, I, I think it's pretty nice. So, definitely thumbs up in the bathrooms here at Bath Speedway. All right, so we're here at the concession stand. Um, it's real, super nice, big. They got a pretty big menu. Pretty amazing. All right, so out here in front of the ticket booth, we do have some food trucks and little food, food stands also, in addition to the, you know, concession area with a super lot of choices. So if you're looking for some popcorn, uh, Mac stacks, pizza and sub, french fries. Y you know, you got lots of choices here as far as food goes. Definitely come hungry. If you're looking for merch here at Babs, it's across the street. So uh, recently they moved the merch area over here. Um, so you got across the street, but all the future trailers and whatever are across the street for your stickers, whatever you need. Alright, as far as pit passes go, it's 35 bucks for a pit pass. There's no ages on the pits. You just have to be have an adult to sign you in. But always remember, there is um, no alcohol allowed in the pits. So if you have a cooler, you probably just want to head to the grandstands. We'll give it to someone else if you want to tour the pits. All right, so something interesting here at BAPS about the pits is that there's two sets of pits. There's one in the front stretch and there's a set of pits in the back stretch. So we're parked in the back, we're headed back there now. But the front stretch pits are right through the gate. And so you have all this area up here. And I wouldn't say it fills up any faster than the back. It's just personal preference. To get to the back pits, you have to go around the track. But there's a little chute that you can drive through and I'll show you it right now. You can also walk on the outside of this jersey barrier if you're like just walking and then this would be for like four wheelers or when the cars come around the track this is how the trailers come in this is how the cars come off the track too yeah there you go so once you get back here i think it's definitely a way bigger area in the back pits um we prefer it i don't know why bill says it's closer to the track it's closer so, to get on the track closer to get on so yeah, I mean, it's a nice pit area. It's pretty open. And there's the man. It's not paved, though. And they are dirt pits. So here in the back pits is where you're going to enter onto the track. So right here is where you'll come on and off the track. And if you watch our previous BAPS video, you'll be able to see a lot of action that goes on right here. <laughs> if you're watching from the pits, can stand up here along this fence and then your other option is going to be the seating back here okay so this is the view from the back stretch like i said um you can stand along this fence and there are a lot, are a lot of crew members who choose to stand right here and watch um the, the big screen here is double-sided which is hard to see through the fence but um, you're going to be able to see the laps and whatever's going on on the other side on this side too which is really nice and this is an improvement that they did just here in the last couple of years. Um, honestly, it gets super dusty here. 
So a couple of years ago, you would watch from back here and you couldn't even see the front stretch. It was so dusty. Um, and you could definitely not see how many laps there were, ran or how many to go or any of that stuff. So the big screen is a huge improvement in my book. It's really nice that they added that. There's tracks, you know, when you're, you're trying to look down here and then there's something happens down here. They added that so you can see the replay too. That's a really nice feature that they have so you can see what's going on. All right, another new improvement that they just did behind Nate here is these grandstands. They added these pit grandstands, um, I think the year before, the winter before last. So these grandstands are great. You can see great. We'll go up there and show you, um, but they're really well built um, and they, you know, super great addition to the track. But, so the grandstands back here are nice. So if you pit back here, you can stand there or sit here. And if you pit over there, they have grandstands for the guys that pit over there that you can sit and watch too. That's Much smaller, nice. but the pits over there are smaller. So I guess it probably accommodates yeah. whoever so would pit. They have stuff for both sides of the pits to help you out so you can see the race when you're in the pits. Okay, so as you can see, there's tons of room here. And as we walk up, I'll show you how great you can see. I mean, you can definitely see the whole track. Pretty well lit at night. I mean, not the best lit track in the whole wide world, but you can definitely see it's not dark. And then there's the back pit, back pit area. Back pit area wrap up. Um, pluses would be, you got the Jumbotron, you got a bigger pit area, and you also have the new grandstands. I guess maybe minuses, if it matters to you, is that there's no real bathrooms back here. Just a couple porta potties, now they are clean. Um, but they're not there's no running water also the only food on the back side is one food truck we tried to get some video over there but there's really loud generators you couldn't hear me at all so pick your pick your poison i guess um you got more facilities over there if you're a fan who plan who plans to get a pit pass tour the pits and sit back here i would definitely get your food on the other side uh, most of the race teams that come if they're concerned about eating dinner or lunch they'll bring it themselves so not as big of a deal on that end that's a wrap on the track tour video. I hope you enjoyed it and you'll find this information useful. If you have questions that I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments. Like, subscribe, and check out our other racing videos. We've got a whole channel full of racing content, and uh, we're bringing more, more to you. We'll have the other tracks coming your way that we visit in 2023.